Now, one of the most common debates when it comes to real estate is should I buy a house or should I rent a house? You'll have people like Grant Cardone stating that renting is the best and only option for everybody. Then on the flip side, you'll have people like Warren Buffett stating that if you're going to be in the house for a long period of time, buying a house is going to be more financially secure and you're going to build up equity and it's just going to be a better investment. So in today's video, we are going to be breaking down and giving you guys my honest opinion on should you buy a house or should you rent a house? So I hope you guys all enjoy it. If you guys get anything in value out of this video, hit that like button, subscribe. If you guys are new to the channel, new to the team, we talk about everything money, stocks, money management, trading, investing. So subscribe, join the team. So let's just jump into this. So answering that question of should I buy or rent a house? Personally, I don't think it's a yes or no answer. I think that people are going to be more drawn to one side than the other. And what I mean by that is there is going to be factors that are going to be heavily influenced by your decision. Meaning if you live in in San Francisco where the average house is a million dollars, it's not affordable for the working class people and running is going to be the only option. And maybe if you're unsure on a possible location you want to live at forever, that's completely fine. Maybe you want to rent at several locations. So for me, I think it's very hard to have a yes or no or running's better or buying's better, but let me just explain some pros and cons for each. Now, when you guys buy a house, it's fantastic, but there's going to be more fees and it's just going to be more expensive with the upfront cost. You'll have to put down, you know, minimum of 3.5%. You'll have closing costs. You'll have a whole bunch of insurance that's going to be expensive, property taxes that are going to be expensive. Compared to when you rent a house, all you got to worry about most of the time is some sort of security deposit and maybe the first and last month's rent. And honestly, that's about it. On top of that, when you rent a house, you don't have to worry about any maintenance. I recently just moved into my house about two and a half years ago, and I've already put thousands of dollars into the plumbing. I had to get a new furnace, a new AC. And honestly, that was thousands of dollars compared to if I was renting, I wouldn't have to worry about any of that cost. But now when you guys rent, unfortunately, there's a lot more rules. You can't go and just paint random walls. You can't put things on the walls. You have to ask your landlord for all your decisions compared to when you buy a house, you have that freedom to renovate, which is awesome. So if you don't like your office, you can paint it. If you don't like your kitchen, you can redo it. You have a lot more freedom and flexibility when you purchase a house. And another great thing about purchasing a house, you build up home equity. So if you possibly buy a house for $100,000, even though there's probably not a house for hundred grand anymore, and that house grows or the real estate grows to $120,000, you have about $20,000 of equity in your house that you did for virtually nothing, which is great. So yes, there's a lot of pros and cons for each, but but honestly, one of the most important factors, in my opinion, is how long do you plan on staying at your location? Now, if you're somebody that plans on moving every couple of years, running is going to be a lot more affordable because you're not going to be stuck somewhere compared to when you buy a house, you have to worry about selling that house. You have to worry about the maintenance and that stuff is thousands of dollars. But if you buy a house and you plan on being there, in my opinion, more than about three years, it's going to be a lot cheaper in the long run to do so. So for for me, looking at just a common rent to purchase calculator, the average break even point when you buy compared to renting a house is going to be about three years. So if you buy a house and you plan on being there for only a year, I think renting could be a better option. Now here's an example of what I mean. If you buy a house for about $200,000, putting down about 3% of your money with a 7% interest rate, compared to if you find a rental for $1,500, your break even on that is going to be about three years. Now, if you live in that house you purchased for 10 years, you will save about $502 per month just because you don't have to worry about it and you're building up equity. So for me, answering that question, I definitely think it all comes down to time frame and your personal preference. For those of you that say that running's better, it may be better option for you that don't want a yard or you don't want any repairs or any maintenance. But if you're somebody that is handy or you wanna stay at a certain location for long periods of time, Buying is going to be a great option. You're going to build up equity. It's going to be a better investment for the long run that you always could rent out down the road. Now, a lot of people love to freak out right now about these interest rates, claiming that they're incredibly high. Yes, they are high compared to a couple years ago, but honestly, they're about average since 1960. So for me, I definitely think that if you're going to buy a house, 
find the house that you love, find the house that you enjoy, and fix it and do what you guys love to do. And if the interest rates fall, just refinance it. It's going to be a better option for you guys. But guys, that's my opinion. I definitely think it all comes down to time frame and how long you plan on being at that location. So guys, we'll see you guys later. Remember to stay happy, stay positive, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.